only on two tonight, helping former felons get a fresh start and find work. It often begins with getting criminal records expunged. CBS 2's Jermon Terry talked with a former convicted felon who is now making it his mission to help others. Jermont is live in the control room with the story. Erica, often after felons serve their time, many still feel judged. Now, their criminal backgrounds, they believe, are holding them back. So this weekend, the nonprofit Escaping the Odds, which was founded by an ex-felon, is hoping to get the word out about an event that could change that for so many. How do I move forward with my life and re-enter society when society continue to hold me back? James Lemoy was released from prison in September 2023, and for the past six months, he's been looking for work. I've been on seven job interviews. I've been turned down all seven. It's clear why he's not getting hired. I keep going on job interviews and the hurdle is my background. A background with a long rap sheet dating back when James was 18. Just months after he took this prom picture in 2003, James committed murder and was convicted in 2006. I served 20 years. Now every time he interviews, James hears, and we can't clear your background. Uh, have you tried expungement? Have you tried talking to a lawyer? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't got no money. I can't go looking for help to fix something that I can't afford to even have a conversation about. Yet attorney Vic Aberdeen is working to change that for James and others like him. Uh, offenses like class X murder, uh, attempted murder, uh, cannot be expunged or sealed. Uh, however, arrests that did not result in a conviction are eligible. Besides the murder conviction, James also has outstanding arrest charges, which can be expunged. Attorney Aberdeen teamed up with ex-felon Aaron Smith. Aaron may have a you know federal conviction, but what he's done in you know real life is more than a lot of people do with clean records. So I got indicted for conspiracy to distribute heroin and fentanyl. Aaron served 12 years in federal prison for heroin distribution. CBS2 first introduced you to Aaron last fall when he went into the Cook County Jail. He helps inmates change their mindset and think about life after their sentence. This, this, is, this is part of that plan. Aaron has teamed up with the attorney to put on the expungement clinic free of charge. They're offering second chances at City Point Church. One word, redemption. That's what it's about. Redeeming from your past mistakes and starting over fresh and new. So Saturday, you come in here? Right and early. Why? Because I won't help. <laughs> now, they already have 100 people registered, but walk-ins are encouraged and welcomed on Saturday at the Bronzeville Church from noon to 3. Also, keep in mind that um, they will also have companies that are hiring many of the people that might be getting their records expunged. We have all the information that you will need to come out to this event on our website at cbschicago.com. Live in the control room tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Thank you, Jermont.